your discretion is advised. Hey everyone, welcome back to another Tony Tuesday. I'm Tony and I'm about to expose McDonald's. About five years ago, I worked at McDonald's. I was a crew member and I was promoted to a crew trainer. So I worked there for around two years and I was really exposed to everything that was going on there. And now, especially the questions are going around about the chicken nuggets, the ice cream machine. If you saw Shane Dawson's video, that's what I'm talking about. So I'm here to talk about everything that I learned at McDonald's. Disclaimer, I'm not here to call out McDonald's. I'm not here to try and get sued. I have 100 subscribers, so it wouldn't really phase me regardless. But I'm not talking trash about McDonald's. This is just what I experienced while I was working there. And it was five years ago, so it could not be true still. Before we begin, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell to get notified whenever I post again. And let's get right on into it. Also, I just wanted to say that I think I'm wearing the correct apparel for the occasion. It says, when life hands you onions, make a quarter pounder. So back in 2015, 2016, I worked at McDonald's. I was working when I was in high school. I started when I was 16 and I worked there until I was almost 18. So almost two years. You wouldn't really expect like the 16 year olds or the high schoolers to care about their job so much. But I had a group of friends that worked there and we literally put in the most work there, which was so frustrating because no one else cared about the job and everyone was just doing it because it was McDonald's. Why did I care so much? Why did I cry every day in the break room? Why was I so miserable every day? Good question, but whatever. From being so dedicated to hard work, I got this cute little pin that says Tony's crew trainer. If you can kind of see it, I wore this on my shirt every day. Um, I felt really official. And after working there for about... A year I made employee of the month and I'm not calling out the McDonald's that I worked at. I'm just going to hide this with my sausage and it says I'm loving it. And I got crew trainer of the month of July in 2015, which is super, super cool. I felt like a superstar and it's been five years and I still have this plaque. So we're rocking out. The first thing that I wanted to talk about after being promoted to a crew trainer, I would go to a lot of events and meetings with McDonald's and I would talk to a lot of higher ups so they could promote me even higher in the company. And there was one specific meeting that was coming my way and it was called Hamburger Academy. If you've heard of that, it's not a joke. If you are promoted to a manager, you do attend Hamburger Academy and you learn everything you need to know about McDonald's. And <laughs> I mean, I almost got there, so it was pretty cool. I'm kind of glad I didn't attend Hamburger Academy and I went to college instead because that could have potentially ruined my life. Moving on. If you ever go into the drive through at McDonald's and you think you have a coupon, but it's actually like a Burger King coupon or something like that, we will take the coupon, which is actually kind of annoying because it would always confuse me. There was one specific Burger King coupon and it was like a whole bundle, like two 10 nuggets and two medium fries and two drinks. And it was like $10. And that was never a button on our screen, so I would have to just ring it up randomly. But if you do hand over competitors' coupons, we will take them. I'm saying we as if I still work there. I do not still work at McDonald's. Someone recently messaged me on Facebook Messenger. I missed every football game, every basketball game, every event at school because I was working. And after all the football games, people would come to McDonald's after and I'd be serving them. And it was so humiliating, but... <laughs> it's okay, I was making money and now I graduated college and I'm unemployed and have negative five dollars in my bank account, so I'm thriving. Hi. <clears throat> oh god, future me editing. Here's Chicho. Hi, boo-boo. I did also forget to mention that when I was working there, um, someone came in one day and they were like, Hey, did you know that your name is outside? And I was like, What do you mean? He was like, Someone spray painted your name outside. My name was spray painted on the dumpster. <laughs> Um, I don't know if it was intentionally for like me. I don't know how many other Tonys with an I there are in my town, but, um, yeah. So my name, Tony with an I was spray painted on the McDonald's dumpster. That shows my dedication and the hatred that people have towards me at that McDonald's. Mm, that's all. Bye. A huge scandal that was going around, I think it was like last year, maybe the year before that, was the chicken nuggets at McDonald's. I can say that when people say that the chicken nuggets are made out of like a pink slime, um, the chicken nuggets take like a minute to cook, not even. I think it takes like 30 seconds to cook in the fryer later. And 
before I, I used to stomp on them on the ground. I don't really know why if I were ever working in the grill, people would drop them on the ground and I thought it was fun to step on them with my no slip grip shoes. <laughs> and it would literally be like pink mush in my shoes. So I can easily tell you that the chicken nuggets are not regular meat, but they're something. They're something and I'm not gonna lie, they taste incredibly good. I still eat at McDonald's, I think at least once a week. So I, no shame, no shade on McDonald's. Like I still eat there all the time. It's just not, uh, not great for you and probably not real. <laughs> the hamburgers and the cheeseburgers. <clears throat> Anywho, the McDoubles, the cheeseburgers, the hamburgers and everything at McDonald's, those patties that are in the burgers are called 10 to 1 patties. Um, basically a quarter pounder is made with a four to one patty and it's a quarter pounder because it's one of the four and then a double quarter pounder is half a pound of meat. A little cheeseburger is one 10 to one patty. So 10 of those equals a pound. The 10 to one patties take 19 seconds to cook. I'm pretty sure 20 seconds to cook. Um, basically the grill at McDonald's, it's just this big cheat grill and you press a button and it just closes itself you press the button according to what's being cooked so it knows 10 to 1 patties take 19 seconds 4 to 1 takes like 40 seconds everything takes different times and the buttons are specific to whatever you press and how long they cook the 10 to 1 are also pink slabs of meat i don't think it's regular meat um again this was four years ago so it could have changed with time but it's definitely not the best for you. Every time you left them on for more than 20 seconds, they would start burning. And that's why I was never putting grill because I would burn all of the 10 to ones. One thing I can say is real meat there is the grilled chicken. Normally people don't go to get like grilled chicken sandwiches or anything. The grilled chicken I wanna say is real because it's previously frozen like everything else in there, but those take, I think 10 minutes to cook, maybe not 10, but it takes like, eight minutes I want to say to cook the grilled chicken which is an appropriate time especially for whatever the heat is on the grill um so yeah grilled chicken I want to say is one safe thing to eat at McDonald's <coughs> are you kidding <sighs> okay and here is the part where I think most people came to click on the video is the ice cream machine Shane Dawson talked about this at the beginning of his conspiracy video, and it is the ice cream machines at McDonald's and how they are always broken and how people always go at midnight or throughout the day and they say the ice cream machine is down. It's Why would it always be down? Why is it always broken? What's the point of having an ice cream machine if it's always down or broken? The reality of the ice cream machine is that it's not being cleaned. The ice cream machine is one of the hardest things to clean. Um... It takes a very long time. Normally, so basically the ice cream machine, it has the ice cream and the shakes all in the same machine. There's two compartments at the top and there's bags of cream that you just open and pour into the top of it. And those fill up the ice cream side and the shake side. So whenever those are like coming to the bottom, it gets really frothy. And if the machines are used for too long without being cleaned, then they'll say that they have to be clean and they'll shut down. But any employee at McDonald's will push off cleaning the ice cream machine as long as they can because it is such a process. Another thing with the machines is that with the shakes, you have to take the flavoring of like the chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, whatever it is. You take those syrups and attach them to the bottom of the machine and put them in the bottom compartment. So then whenever you make a shake, it sucks up from the bottom and it takes the shake mix out of the top. So whenever you have to clean the machine, you have to drain all those nozzles at the bottom and you have to clean out the compartments at the top. Huge process. I want to say it takes like at least an hour just because you need to get buckets to drain out the whole machine. And then you have to like clean the whole thing out. Sometimes you got to scrub the top of it too. And it's such a process that no one wants to do it. So it's either you get a rank ice cream machine where there's probably mold infested in it somewhere, or you have to shut it down for the night and clean it. If no one wants to clean it in the time that they have to, then the ice cream machine shuts down itself and says like, there's an error, you're not gonna use this machine because it's dirty. So until it is cleaned, it's going to stay shut down until someone cleans it, which is super inconvenient. So I never learned how to clean that machine and it was such a long process that I didn't, I wasn't really worried about it. But any time the machine was down, people would scream at me and it was never my fault. It was the manager's fault, but the managers there are too lazy so they didn't want to do it. Reality of the ice cream machine. It's never actually broken. It just needs to be cleaned.
So that's a pretty simple answer, I'd say at least. Um, unless someone literally breaks the machine, there's no reason why the machine is broken all the time. Sometimes at night is when they clean the machine. So if they say it's down, it's because they're actually cleaning it, like the overnight shift is cleaning it. But in reality, they're probably not. It's just for shutdown itself. <laughs> Some people rave that the orange juice at McDonald's is like really great. It's one of their favorite orange juices. In reality, the orange juice at McDonald's, it's just a machine that pours out water. That's all it is. You just press a button, then water comes out. But in order to put the orange juice in, it's a giant sack of like orange juice pulp. It doesn't even, it's so, it's so thick. It's not even regular orange juice. It just gets diluted from the water. So I don't really know what it is. If it's like a puree or, a, a, I don't know. McDonald's was literal hell for me. I hated McDonald's. I hated everything about it. I cried every single day. But perks about McDonald's, if you work there, every time you work, you get a free meal. And whenever you're not working, you used to get half off of your meals. So I would go in and get like 40 nuggets for like five bucks. I don't really know. It was awesome. And if you know the people there, they'll give you deals and it's just kind of nice. So if you want to work at McDonald's, that's completely fine because that was my first job and I wouldn't take it back because it definitely taught me of what I would never do again in my future. You might be miserable and you might gain 40 pounds from working there and you might want to die, but it's okay. When I started working at McDonald's, I came in wearing a size four pants. Their pants run really small. At least that's what I remember. I was not thick. I'll say that. And um, when I finished working at McDonald's, I ended with a size 14 pants. <laughs> But I would go through pant sizes so quickly. And whenever I went to the bathroom, the button would literally fly off of my pants because they were so tight. Um, now McDonald's workers don't have to wear a special like McDonald's pants. Those pants were my worst nightmare. And since then, I gained 40 pounds, at least 40 pounds working at McDonald's. And it's been five years and I think I might have lost 10 pounds. But that's all I have to say about McDonald's. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell to get notified whenever I post again. I've been stuck at the same subscriber count for a really long time. And it's actually super discouraging. So if you guys could help me out and just subscribe and check out the more content that I put out. When life hands you onions, don't forget to make a quarter pounder. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.